to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the voice of the prophet. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. Filling in for Prophet Renee. Amen. And I have with me today. Minister Keith Doggett. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We are happy, excited to kick off this Monday morning. Amen. With the word um, on today. Amen. We're going to be speaking of uh, a topic today called Lay Down Your Life. Yes. Amen. Laying Down Your Life. Amen. And we're going to get straight into the uh, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24. Yes. So if you have your Bibles, those that are watching, please get to your Bible and get to Matthew 16, 24. Yes. Amen. Right? And it reads here in Matthew 16, 24, Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Um, and as we look at Matthew 16, 24, it talks about um, Jesus um, speaking of um, a life that, uh, that must be put down before his disciples. Right? Jesus is speaking to his disciples. He's having a conversation with them. And he said, if any man comes after me. Yes, come on. Right? So yes. what he's saying, if any man follows me, if any man wants to um, not only follow me, but follow my life. Mm -hmm. Because there is a life, <laughs> there is a life in Jesus that requires a denial. Mm -hmm. It requires a sacrifice. Yes. It requires that you must put down what you want mm -hmm. to follow him. Yes, sir. And a lot of times when we look at the life of a disciple, and this is a good disciple teaching yes, uh, that we can um, speak about because a lot of times when we come to church and we come into church and we and we and we think that we can still allow a lifestyle to dictate our walking pattern and how you gonna live your life. But no, right. Jesus said, Hold, if you're gonna really truly follow me, if you're really gonna put down something, put down your life. Deny yourself. Deny some friends. Yes. Deny some family if it may be the cause. Right. Because there is a cause. There, there is a cost in following him. He said, deny yourself. So not only that, but deny what you see, there's some things that we want. There's some things, there's some things that we want to keep even in Jesus. Talk about it. <laughs> there's, a, there's some things that we still want to decide, hey, Lord, I want to follow you, but I want to keep my attitude. I want to keep a mindset. I want to keep living my life um, in the world. I want to follow the worldly things. I, I want to follow the fashion of the world. So come on, because when you come to Jesus, it is a it, discipleship is a transformation. Yes. Denying yourself is a transformation. That's what it is. It's, you're literally declining things. A life in Jesus is saying, I decline. I turn down. I don't want this. When the world is developing new trends yes. and, and they're doing new things, yes, new innovations, yes. on, new designs, and new, and, and, and new, new uh, sayings, right. I'm not following that. Right. I'm denying myself. He said, if you come after me. So you, see, it's you coming after him. That's right. It's not Jesus coming after you. You make the decision if you're going to follow Jesus or not. That's right. That's right. But he says, this is the requirement. If you decide, deny yourself and take up your cross. There is something, even in the denial, because what he's saying here, denying yourself is one thing. Yes. But taking up the cross is another thing. Because you taking up the cross is meaning that you have to carry that. Because... If you constantly got to deny, right, right. Come on, come on, that means that it, it, it's not going to go away. That means that it may present itself again. The temptation of the world may present itself again. Living a life of fornication may present itself again. Living a life of adultery may present itself again. Living a life of a liar may present itself again. And guess what? You have to bear the cross and say, I'm, I'm going to deny. When I'm tempted, I remember the cross. I remember why I'm carrying what I'm carrying. I understand that I, the cross is a, is a reminder that it must die. Mm. It is a reminder that I have to put that thing 
that will allow me to not follow Christ. Right. Right. And say, this is what I must give up. This is what I must put down. I'm not, I'm not following the temptation. Right. Right. I'm not following what's enticing me yes. and, and pulling me away from Jesus. I'm not following that. But let that thing that I'm declining follow me. Let it follow me. Because a lot of times we are allowing the temptation to lead us. We're allowing the world and its ideas and the, and the thing that's going on in your life and what's going on around us to lead us. Right. But Jesus is saying if you deny yourself, pick up your cross and let it follow you. Put it on your back. Whatever it is, put it on your back. If it's a mindset, put it on your back. Yes. Yes. Whatever, it Whatever it is. It's a denial. This life in Jesus is a, nothing but a denial. Yeah. Look at him, Mr. Kibo. Yeah, you, you keep talking. I mean, you really got to lay down your life. Yes. You really, and, it, and it's your choice. Your choice. It's your decision yes. that you got to make. And you got to know that in giving up your life, this is serious. Yes. You can't come playing games, think it's a joke, and you, you can have your little tea parties, and I can dip. Mm -hmm. Dab, you know what I'm saying? I, I, straddling the fences and all these different things. You really gotta say, God, I give up. Yes. I like you saying about following. I like, I like yeah. I like, I, like you. I like that. That's 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 good because you can't allow things to get in front of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta kill it so it won't be in front of you. So it won't be a hindrance. Yes. To your walk in Christ. The Bible, I, I know the Bible said that he that findeth life findeth Jesus. Yes. When you when you when you find him, you find life, and a life more abundantly, life full of life. So you gotta say to yourself that anything that's in my way, anything that's gonna try to hinder me, anything that's gonna try to block me, I got to die to it. Mm -hmm. I can't follow Christ alive. I can't be alive in Christ being alive too. Mm -hmm. You gotta know that you crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, you live, yet not I. Christ live within you. It's He that lives. That's why I live. Yes. To live is to die. To live is to live is to live for Christ is to die the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To live is Christ. That's what I want to say. To live is Christ to die is the game. So you gotta die to yourself. Yeah. And the thing about it too, like I've probably been saying too, that you gotta take your life, your thoughts, your ways, everything you think about yourself, everything about you. Mm -hmm. You gotta go to that altar and die and, and put it there and leave your life at the altar. Amen. And pick up Christ's life. Right. And begin to live the life of Jesus Christ. That's the only way. And every day you gotta mortify the deeds of this flesh. You gotta die to every day. Every day you gotta die to gotta yourself. Die. Gotta, yeah. Because if you keep trying, like you said, if you keep trying to have attitudes and you know be still frustrated and be this way and be that way, it's like you dip in the dab. Mm -hmm. You confuse, and you can't be. You can't, it can't be no confusion. It can't be no confusion when you're following Christ. Right. It's a mind made up. Yes. A heart that's fixed. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be trials and tribulations, and you got to understand that and know that. And you got to continue to maintain yourself in Christ. Everything is in Christ. That's what he said. In Christ, I have my I, I have my beings. In Christ, I have my beings. I move and I function. In Christ, everything is in Christ. So I got to die so Christ can live. Right. Right. So Christ can live. And that and and that's the that is the key thing right there when you say so Christ can live. Because we're still busy trying to live our life. We're still busy trying to, to feed our self-interest and, and, and allow ourselves to live when, when, when Jesus is uh, requiring a life in him. Because it is a cause. It's an enduring. It's an enduring. It is a sacrifice. You have to give up something um, in this life if you truly want to follow Jesus Christ. And that is and that is the decision that every man, every woman must make if you're going to follow Jesus. He says, lay down, right? Lay down, deny yourself, right? And take your cross and follow me. Those are watching, lay down your life. Yes. What, what, what's holding you back? Yes, sir. What is the Lord requiring for you in this season? Because it's a constant revisiting of what needs to be uh, evaluated in your life. Right. And say, what is it that I'm still allowing? 
to have residence mm -hmm. in my walk with the Lord? What is yes. what is having what what is what am I allowing to to take up some estate in my life? Wow. Because you you need to evict some things, mm -hmm. and we have to get into the internal. We have to get into our spirit, yes. and we have to get into our thoughts and say, Lord, mm -hmm. reveal. Reveal to me what is it that I'm not laying down. Lay down your life. Amen. Yes. We pray the word bless you. We pray to encourage you. Amen. We thank you for tuning yes. in to Voice of the Prophet. My name again is Minister Manny Renee Jr. Now alongside with me here. Minister Keith Dorf. Amen. And please remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless you.